Hello, my name is Mat Alizam Ben Bin Muhammad from DKA 5C Section 3. I will explain the reinforced concrete design about column. The first one is the introduction of reinforced concrete. Reinforced concrete is one of the most widely used modern building materials. Concrete is an artificial stone obtained by mixing cement, sand, and aggregates with water. Fresh concrete can be molded into almost any shape, giving it an inherent advantage over other materials. It became very popular after the invention of Portland cement in the 19th century. However, its limited tension resistance initially prevented its wide use in building construction. To overcome poor tensile strain, steel bars are embedded in concrete to form a composite water that called reinforced concrete. The use of RC construction in the modern world terms from the wide availability of its ingredients, reinforcing steel as well as concrete. Except for the production of steel and cement, the production of concrete does not require expensive manufacturing mills. But construction with concrete does require a certain level of technology, expertise, and workmanship. There are six types of the reinforced concrete design. The first one is beam. Second, slab. Third, column. Fourth, wall. Fifth, stairs. And lastly is foundation. What is column? Column are vertical or inclined compression members used for transferring superstructure load to the foundation. The structural design of reinforced concrete column involves the provision of adequate compression reinforcement and member size to guarantee the stability of the structure. In typical cases, columns are usually rectangular, square, or circular in shape. Other sections such as elliptical, octagonal, and other things are also possible. Columns are usually classified as short or slender depending on their slenderness ratio and this in turn influence their mode of failure. In frame structures, columns are either subjected to axial, unaxial, or biaxial loads depending on their location and loading condition on Eurocode 2 demands that we include the effects of imperfections in the structural design of columns. The structural design of reinforced concrete columns is covered in section 5.8 of Eurocode 2. When columns are not properly designed, they can fail by crushing, buckling, shear, or by the combination of any of the above. This is the steps in the design of reinforced concrete columns. The first one is determine design life, assess action on the column, determine which combination of actions apply, assess durability requirement and determine concrete strength, check over requirements for appropriate fire resistant period, calculate minimum cover for durability, fire and bond requirements, analyze structure, to obtain critical moments and axial forces, check slenderness, determine area of reinforced concrete re required, and the lastly is check spacing of bars. Columns are divided into two types, which is brace and unbrace columns. Lateral stability in brace reinforced concrete structure is provided by shear walls, lift shafts, and stairwells. Therefore, all lateral actions are transferred and resisted by the stiff stabilizing members. In a brace column, the axial load 
and the bending moments at the ends of a column arise from the vertical loads acting on the beams. The horizontal loads do not affect the forces or deformation of the column. The columns do not contribute to the overall horizontal stability of the structure. In unbraced structure, resistance to lateral forces is provided by bending in the columns and beams in that plane. The column ends can deflect laterally in a column in an unbraced structure. The axial force and moments in the column are caused not only by the vertical load on the beams, but also by the lateral loads acting on the structure and additional moments due to the axial load being anesthetic to the deflected column. This is an example of the calculation for the column.